Welcome to Noveria. Or Noveria, even though we have to leave. We're going after the elusive man. Ananadius or Anadius. Mm -hmm. Kronos Station. There's nothing here, right? Except the big ass sun. Hmm. Kronos Station, the MIA, Red Supergiant Anadius, is a minor footnote on the star maps of the Horsehead Nebula, a cold, dying star of about 20 solar masses and 1,500 times salt's radius. Not listed on any charts, an unobtrusive space station is nearly imperceptible in the star's periodic bursts of solar output. Edie's advisory. The size and shape of the station suggests many ships could dock in it. Precise measurements would require active scans which could reveal Normandy's presence. Given the stakes, this level of accuracy is not recommended. Shepard, the intel you sent looks good. The fleets are ready to go. But? Once we're committed against Cerberus, it won't be long before the Reapers take notice. And the Crucible? Ready. Except for the Catalyst. But there's no way to hide the ships we'll be sending at Cerberus. Once we attack, the Crucible won't stay safe for long. For all intents and purposes, an assault on Cerberus will be the first stage of our attack on Earth. I see. So we're going to do... Citadel DLC now. What happens if Damn. Cerberus doesn't have the intel <laughs> okay. we need? Or they stop us from getting it. Then we lead the fleets to Earth and we take our chances. But your intel points to Cerberus and the elusive man holding the information we're looking for. And we have the element of surprise. Cerberus won't know what hit him. I want to make, sure, make sure we're ready, ready before, before we commit. commit. Understood. Understood. The fleets are ready when you are. Damn. Okay. Um, then we <laughs> go back to the Citadel. <laughs> the end is nearing. Um, Commander. that means first we're going to do the Citadel DLC. Then we're going to talk to everyone again, and then we're going to approach the end. Um, this is not the end. End. It's just the first stage of the end, and at that point, as far as I remember, the Citadel will become... Oh, I'm... should I spoil you? <laughs> spoil you, <laughs> spoiler you. Um, um, unavailable for <laughs> various reasons, um, which means our in um, well access to certain places will be limited because of actions <laughs> yeah the reapers will take the citadel of course they will okay um doc so let's initiate our dlc Admiral, how are you holding up? Day by day, Commander. Yeah. Hackett sent me a message about this apartment. I want you to have it. Take it off my hands. Are you serious? You need a place that's yours. Somewhere to recharge, clear your head. Kaylee wanted us to settle down there. Thing is, the longer I'm on Earth, the less I want to leave. And I want as few loose ends out there as possible. Like I said, you'd be doing me a favor. That's very generous. It's practical. We need you in the best shape possible. Rested. Focused. If you say so. Thank you. And make yourself at home, damn it. It's yours now. I'm sure I can manage. Okay, good. Been meaning to do that for a while. I'll talk to you soon. Be careful out there, Anderson. You too, Shepard. 
<laughs> Be careful. He's out there on Earth. Um, getting demolished by Reaper Horses. <laughs> this luxury super cool apartment to crash. What? Notes for Anderson biography and relationships. Damn, damn memories. Embarrassing moments? I've got more of those than anyone will ever know. Only way to learn something. But if I had to pick one to share, I had just gotten promoted to N7. Full of myself, king of the castle. Found myself buying drinks for undesirables in some rundown bar in the wards. They toasted my recent promotion. Hell, they would have toasted Batarian slavers if it had got them more drinks. About the time my money ran out, my new friends turned on me. I was outnumbered. Things didn't look good. My plan to get out of there involved lots of punching. Well, that worked for a while. Then a table hit me. Or I fell down. When I came to, I saw a Solarian putting the rest of the troublemakers down. A Solarian? Moved like a damn cat, I swear. When everybody was out cold. Or running. He walked over and helped me up. N7, he asked. Yes, sir, I replied. He looked over my collection of unconscious friends, nodding. Not bad, human, he said. Then he walked away. I had met my first specter. Learned an important lesson that day. No matter how good you think you are. There's always somebody quicker, faster, and a hell of a lot smarter than you just around the corner. That little lesson's kept me alive more than once since then.
Well, this is it for today. You can see where this is going. All of our friends, a big party, lots of not drugs and sex and rock and roll, right? Lots of the good stuff. Friendship, talking, some love, <laughs> maybe a little bit of alcohol. We shall see, or we will see. Yeah, until next time.